Well, I'm Marlijn. I'm here again. And um, this time I want to go much shorter. Like my ears, so that okay. that length. And um, I uh, don't want a very uh, large... Um, angles angles in between so mm -hmm. the straight up straight bob um and you want my colors again but this, this is frizz. the last time that okay. I'm, I'm, I'm and going then to. you're thinking about going ultra short yes okay. and have my my own hair back yeah you have a wonderful color yourself yeah okay well you turn for you and the rest of the world i'll show what you have now thank you very much Hello friends on YouTube, I'm going to do her hair and you hear what she said. It's the last time she goes for a, a black and white version. And now now it's goes. sad, so I can't go back. Yeah, she, she will be with short hair also on YouTube. Yeah. And she lo loved the video of Robin where she goes short. And she, yeah, I think most girls are wonderful with short hair. <laughs> I love short hair on yeah. girls. They're Maybe not they less feminine. I think <laughs> you're even more feminine because it's not your hair that makes you feminine. It's the person that makes you feminine. <laughs> okay, start with uh, applying some water on the hair. The nice thing about this length, what she's going to do, cut now, is that it takes a lot of damaged hair. It's been so much caught. Mm -hmm. And she wants a straight line to the back. So I part the hair over the half of her head in a straight line to the back. Mm -hmm. I do this of course on both sides so I can make my first line. And she will have a larger fridge. And first she found a photo that she has hanging uh, Two parts down, that she don't want anymore. No. <laughs> I let the girls decide what they want, not me deciding. Girls know very best what they want. Yeah, <laughs> especially when you are a lot growing up. I'm gonna make the first line. Take the hairs down. Now I'm going to cut above my fingers, so I have to decide where the straight line is. And then you have this angle and you have this angle, and the center line is what is the straight line. Be aware that in the back you stay in the upper hair, not in the under hairs. Correct this in a freehand style. So get the most natural fall of the hair. The fine cutting of this I do afterwards. First set out the line. Lekker rustig. Hmm? Lekker rustig. Uh -huh. Zijn er veel mensen die nu naar de kapper gaan met deze mooie dagen? Hmm, wat valt er mee? Ja, dat dacht ik al. Iedereen denkt wel, ik ga buiten zitten. Ja. Dat is wel fijn. Uh -huh. Nou, I have to connect the right side to the left side. Take it in a blunt line because then I have a lot of volume afterwards. Yeah. I don't want layers in it. No. You can hear that the hair is ultra strong. You hear it cutting. <laughs> the underline will be short. Then I lift up. Okay, 
the underline I'll do clipper over comb. Connect it to the line, I cut, cut it uh, with uh, scissor of comb because the connection I made scissor of comb. Make sure she has a nice clean neckline. Make a nice shape into the neckline. Okay, come to the upper layers, connect them to the line of cutting. Again, holding the line ultra blunt to have a lot of volume. I leave the hair falling in a natural fall, so it don't force anything. Just shaping it with my scissor till I get the perfect line. Now, first, I'm going to do the dark side of the moon. I'm going to put it right up, and then I can knip it. Because it falls in the floor. Okay. Okay, boss. Okay, boss. Yes, sir. Je hebt mensen die noemen me meester. Oh. Spannend. Ja, dat heb ik ook gelezen. Ja, <laughs> Spannend. Coming to the dark side. Holding my fingers under my blades, so you get more stable lines. You have to be aware of the earrings because uh, then my sister won't cut anymore. <laughs> I'm certain it goes through a, a earring. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard because I'm now showing you something when I'm not in line with my view. So my hand is also in a difficult position cutting but it's the only way to show you what I'm doing I don't have a cameraman or a woman <laughs> yeah take the last layer on it Make the line as blunt as possible. You see how wonderful strong so a line is like this. Straight bob line is straight, strong line. Come to the other side. Okay, come to the blunt lines. You see that the, the blonde colors make the hair a little bit thinner because the dark side is a lot more stable.
I see a length like this is from three years ago, summertime. So it, it has a lot of damage by sun and wind and everything that comes with it. Just a slight control. Watching if all the hairs are on the right place, on the right length. No, so not my pony. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Went to the French. <laughs> and she liked it. Let's re regress this. This is the part we're going to. And when she takes up her eyebrows, she wants still to see, see her it. eyebrows. So I have to go in a straight line to the angle where the hair is moving down. And also this line is then a very stable, strong mm -hmm. line. Here is my corner where I have to go to. You hear that the hair is wonderful of condition now because you hear snapping. Mm -hmm. Just wonderful strong blunt lines. Lay the hair gently down and work till I get straight on the corner where the hair goes down. Then I get myself a more a nice table line. Yeah. She pull, <laughs> pulls the eyebrows up to control if I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> well. Otherwise he's going to shoot me. <laughs> Hang me up. Only by the telephone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she can't miss me. Final control is to take the hair up. And just take off some small parts. Not too much. Just that I have reached the dry ends. And then, of course, comes the difficult part, the coloring of yeah. both parts, to hold them separate yeah. and do it in one line. Starting uh, coloring, the first thing I'm going to do is, this will be in the natural colors, so I will put a wax on it, so the colors don't reach that spot. And I will cover it up with a plastic foil. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit sticky, but that's also what it needs to do. Yeah, when it don't sticks, it <laughs> you don't have anything on with the doing what I'm now doing. Just put a, a large amount of wax on it. Then I cut a plastic foil in half. One on the left side and one on the right side. So now I'm sure there will no color be on that spot. Now I've got the part me the part of coloring, and her line is, is moved a little bit away from what she normally has. So kind of find me a new line. And the pony, that's what it is. Hmm? Then it's a scheiding bijna in the middle. Yeah. Wow. It's a little more than the Yeah. I parted hair over the center of a skull, so you see that the, the, it moves a little bit. She's on the edge, so she gets her terminal hair, so she lives. She has to live with for her life. Oh my god. Well, of course, 
it will fall out and it still be in a live thing. But when I want to have this hairstyle, I like it to take this part with it. So I start coloring the black co colors. Die stukken wel echt heel erg zwart, want die zijn heel wit. Nee, dat valt wel mee. Oh ja, maar dat, ik bedoel meer van dat het, dat het makkelijk kleurt. Toch? Ja, maakt op zich niet uit. Oh, okay. Mensen dit thuis gewoon uh, gaan uitproberen met hun eigen haar. Oh, zeker. Dat is handig. Creating a lovely ears. And a bit to contour, not too much because. Otherwise, the hair is not color. When you have this kind of lines, you can put a cotton wick on the ear, so it's protected for the dark colors. In the line of duty, I forgot to put on my clubs, the protection. I always do, but it's a busy day, so I forgot. <laughs> But with bleaching, I will certainly do that with plastic foils. I cover up the dark zone. Now I put up my clubs. This is the most difficult thing to do because now I have to apply the, the bleach to the hair. This I will lift over to the other side and lay it on the plastic foil. On this line I take out the cotton wick I lay this on the line of coloring so the both colors can't reach each other. And now I'm going to lay the blonde over the plastic foil. Okay, now I leave the, the length out because that's too damaged because that I will do in the sink I want to rinse it out now I just have to close my plastic foil check it for 50 minutes mostly she takes 25 minutes to get to a ultra light blonde but I always check at 50 minutes Then I went to town to tell you afterwards what I all did to her. Huh? Hello, we're back from coloring. Gonna use the foam. You're looking to the bug, the, the dark side of the moon. Yeah. <laughs> I can see both. It's nice that this color has two shades. Come right through the hair. I think uh, imparting this is the most difficult air style there is because it listens very carefully of what you do and what you part or not. We'll start drying in the neckline and work my way up. So far blow dry. Now I need a little bit of hairspray. Not much, just a little bit. Gaat lekker. 
Yeah, it smells also nice. <laughs> it's a new hairspray of rope for him. It's up. Yeah, and they do it here. Yeah. Try it for yourself again. Come on, make it up. Yeah, they do it long in the good product. Ja, als die zo sterk is, heb je niet zoveel nodig. Nee. Vooral mijn pony heeft ook wel haarspray nodig, anders gaat het straks helemaal niet. Ja, ze springt een beetje om. En dit is uh, Lijn's new hair style and color, of course. And maybe for the last time. Ja. Oké, okay, my love. You must show this hairstyle to the world. Ja. Yeah. It looks wonderful on you. Thank you. You too. Thank you for modeling. Thanks.